he knew all that, those, those teachings, he became the major teacher and scripture writer of the New Testament. If you look through the New, New Testament, book after book was written by the Apostle Paul. Why? He was laying out the foundation of Christian theology to all the churches that, that had been established. He would go around on these missionary journeys and start these churches, and then he would write letters to these churches. So probably at least half of the New Testament is Paul's writing. He, he is the man who established the basis, the foundation of, of the Christian faith. Now another thing that Paul knew and understand, understood uh, was that these churches that were established would grow and fl flourish only if they had people in them who were all in when it came to faith in God and in the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so as he made these missionary journeys, he would preach to the people that they needed to be all in, solid in their foundation of their faith, committed, dedicated, willing to do the work of the king. And one leader in the church of Colossae was Philemon. This is what he said to Philemon. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your love for all his holy people and your faith in the Lord Jesus. I pray that your partnership with us in faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brother, have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. Philemon was an all-in person. There's two things in life that I don't like. Cold coffee and, and soggy McDonald's French fries. Both of those things are our little warm. <laughs> got a fellow, fellow believer over here. He shares my dislikes. Danielle's going. <laughs> But those things are, did, uh, are lukewarm. Philemon was not lukewarm. He was all in in what God wanted him to do. And because he was all in, that church in Colossae was, was, was growing. That church in Colossae was blessed. This morning, we asked the question, to be or not to be? To be or not to be the best for God depends on whether or not we are all in. In a church, the more people who are all in, the better. And why is that? Why is that? It is because the Holy Spirit empowers people who make that commitment. The Holy Spirit flows and overflows people that have made that commitment to be all in. And, and God works powerfully through those people. To be or not to be, that is the question. Together, let's be all in for the Lord. Amen. Let's turn to our uh, final hymn. And uh, how many what is that? Five or five.
Yeah.